Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the vintage RVer. As you can see here, uh, I've got the one of the uh, stripes here installed, and this is the old one up here. Here is the replacement one, which is basically white um, Camco trim that's been painted with the orange fusion paint, and I let that dry quite a bit, and then installed it. I had a square bit on my screw gun which is down here. As you can see, I've got my square bit on the screw gun. For that, I've got a pair of tin snips and a screwdriver to kind of get behind the molding and then break off the old nasty stuff. But this is pretty much what you wind up with is this orange trim. It's not an exact match to the orange on the logo, but you know what I'm thinking? It's pretty good. It's a lot better than the old stuff was. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna complain too much. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you on a short piece of trim, a couple of pieces of trim on the door here, I'm going to take the screw gun and I'm going to take my time here, i got to undo it a little bit because some of these might be a little iffy, especially on the door, so we're going to just do, man that's fun. that. I'm going to try to unscrew that the rest of the way. Wow, that's kind of hard even from the beginning here. What's going on with that? It's, uh... Hmm. So it sticks right in there. There we go. Okay, so we got that one off. I'll put that on the ground. <clears throat> I'm going to take this one off. And that's just spinning. That's such a good sign, you know, when that does that, isn't it? That just sounds to me like this whole trim piece is just going to come flying off here. Looks like I'm going to have to take some caulk and just gently do this here. As with any of these older RVs. I'm sure there's a reason why this is the way it is. This one here, it's, it's warm enough today, the um, sun's out. So I'm going to just gently peel this and get this. This is actually fairly pliable, which I'm really surprised it is, because this just seems to me like this sucker would just fall apart. As you can see here, a lot of these screws, they're just kind of not sitting in the door very well. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take these out and screw them in in a slightly different locale because I have a suspicion that this whole thing is kind of not doing very good as far as, because uh, you can see here it's almost, I mean there's like one screw that's really holding on. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to continue to take off the trim on these upper sections. Same up here. Take those off. This could actually use a little spritz of white, I think. So I'm going to find some white spray paint and clean those up a little bit. And then I'm going to just, this is a little, like I said, this is a little easier because it's been in the sun for a little while. So you just got to kind of use the back of your hand and just you can see some of this is just cracking. I mean, it is not. I mean, some of this stuff's just, it's turned like this almost dark brown nasty color, but it's orange. It's supposed to be orange. But you almost wouldn't know that by the look of it. So that's down, and we're going to do a little bit of maintenance on these things here. Uh, since we're here, I'm going to get the caulk on out, and I'll show you this in a second. All right, here we go again after a brief break and a literally 15 to 20 minute search for a caulk gun. You'd think I have about five of them, but I couldn't find one of them until just now after all that search. So I finally got a caulk gun. I'm going to set the camera down and uh, put it in a position, hopefully, that you guys can see what's going on here. I've got a little makeshift 
tripod, or I guess it would be unipod. I'm going to put this up here, and we're going to focus on those doors right there. Give ourselves a little... I like that. There we go. All right. It's probably catch me in the uh, camera, but that's okay, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this screw gun and back off the screws. Oh, that didn't even... Okay, well... Stay in there, did it? So now we got this. So let's see. Got that down. So I've got all these screws. Got the trim here. I'm gonna put them in my little box along with those other pieces. And we're gonna take all these and we're gonna put them down here. And we're gonna take this stuff here. And we're gonna paint them all with this, which is my Rust-Oleum. A lot of Rust-Oleum here. Rust-Oleum uh, makes some pretty good stuff. They make some really good uh, leak sealer. It actually has some true colors to it. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint this up a little bit. Hopefully it'll turn out a little better. Just want to do a little touch up. Hopefully we can get some good coverage here. And also do the screws. Give them a little extra chance here. Sun has gone down behind the house. So things have cooled down quite a bit. So I'm going to go back up here. And again, take the screws off the top section. Yeah, those are loose. And rough. These are going to come up by hand pretty much. Put those in the box. So while I'm here, yeah, everything about this, any old RV is going to take maintenance. And a little bit of coordination there. It's like a screw. There we go. Come down there, along with the other strip. Put it down there and I'll paint that. So we basically have this brown trim area. I don't have the brown for this, so I'm just going to leave this as is. But you can see here, it's just a piece of aluminum that's been inserted. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this caulk gun after I clean up the strip. I'm not going to get crazy with this. I'm just going to give it a little spritz here. All my trim strips in the way. We're going to take this and just give this one a loving touch of spray paint here. You see, I don't care too much about my driveway because eventually that's one of the many projects that's going to get it uh, some attention here. So I got my screws. Put the box around a little bit. Make sure all my screws get coated. There we go. Well, I'm in here. Oh, definitely a spot there. All right, so I got those coated. We're gonna go back to the door. Like that. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take the top done. And I'm gonna fill these holes as best I can. I put the bevel on this thing, so I gotta be careful where I place it. I'm just gonna slowly ease in some caulk into the holes. trying to get it where it'll actually go in the hole as opposed to all over the place. It's okay if there's a little bit of definitely more going in the hole than anything else. So. Here. 
can see water's gotten in behind these. So. Try to seal up that a little bit. Also put a little, a little bit of caulk in here. Not absolutely necessary, but while I'm here, I might as well add a little bit of caulk to this. Alright. So there goes that. So we've got that, and of course I don't expect this trim strip to be 100% dry at this point in time. Looks like it's uh, going to take a little time to completely dry off, and it looks like it needs a little extra spritz here, so I'm going to do that. Just give it a little extra protective layer. And it's always a good idea to wear the gloves, because I'll be back to you in a minute. Okay, back again. Brief intermission there. What we're going to do is get this cut so that it get an approximate fit there. I want it a little long, although today it is a slightly cool, so we're going to keep it not too much longer than the original piece. Of course, a lot of these you wind up having to bend, bend these like this, tight like this. So as you're folding it, you're basically compressing the, the vinyl. It is difficult to do when the uh, vinyl is cold, so you definitely either want to keep this in a warm place or in front of uh, a heater of some sort, so that way you can do the fold here without killing your hands. And so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get it at least bent initially, so I can work my way back and make it a little pliable. You see, as you work it a little bit more, it gets it more pliable. And then, fit it in the channel. So what I typically do is I try to fit it in the upper channel first, and then stick it in the lower portion. So you get it in like this. And then, hopefully, well, you can see my glove is shot. You try to work it in by flipping that lower portion and working it in. Like that. Like so slowly there we go. Uh, inch or so right where the screws are is usually the tougher spot because the screw sticks out enough that on this vinyl trim it wants to telegraph through the through it there. So Get this folded up and in. Get this last bit up in there. Of course, it's right where there's a screw. So it's going to be a little tough there. Now, you can take a straight edge screwdriver and gently load in. If you have an unpainted trim, you can do this real easy. But like I did, I painted it. So, guess what? Every time I jab it with a screwdriver, I can break that. So, I'm going to go from there, and I'm going to take my trim pieces, which I have painted. They're not perfect, but they're better than they were. Set this up on the uh, screw here, and then this is where it gets to be a challenge. Fixing the yep. door? Yep. Alright, well, after being interrupted about three times trying to film this video, uh, I wrapped this up and got these pieces back on here. Not the prettiest job. I gotta clean up a little bit with the caulk. Um, but you can see up here I've got them screwed back in. Uh, difficulty is with this with the new strip it's hard to tap that screw through the vinyl. Uh, so you, I usually hold on to this back a little bit and then use the screw gun to tap it first and then suck it in, but you got to be a little careful um, how you get that back in there. Um, so i got to do a little cleanup here on it. Otherwise, not too bad. The only real challenge is, is where the screws are. And you can kind of see here, there's like a screw there. There's a screw right bulge there. There's another bulge there and another bulge here. And the reason why you need to typically get the um, the 
top in first, the top piece in first, and then the bottom. If you look at the profile of the trim, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a wider lip on the bottom than it does on the top. And if you try to stick it in the bottom, which you naturally would think you'd stick the bottom part in first and then push in the top, what happens is you can't get around the heads of the screws. So you basically, you wind up fighting, trying to, you know, get this thing to work right. I'm just gonna just polish this up a little bit, it's a little dirty. But uh, you wind up fighting those screw heads. And uh, they always wind up popping out. You hear people when they put this molding in, you know, driving along and all of a sudden the molding pops out. Well, there, there's a reason for that. You can even see here more directly, you see the screw bumps here. There's one here. I can see how they telegraph here, here. And then, of course, this is how I do I'll come back with some caulk and paint, touch this up, and seal this up a little better. But I, I found that I couldn't really flex this angle too well uh, to make it work. But as you can see here, I managed to get the trim back in. I didn't get this painted, but I'll mask this off and paint that. So that's what's going to happen around the rest of it. So, you know, as you start to see, the orange kind of pops now um, like it used to when the Allegro was new. So hope you got some information out of that. I will continue to do a little bit more fix-ups and we will be tackling the roof elements shortly. Take care.